This problem says to find the average rate of change of the function f of x is the square root of x plus 1 on the interval from 3 to 15. So every time we see average rate of change, let's remind ourselves that that is just slope. We'll write out the slope formula. Slope is always f of b minus f of a over b minus a. The more you write something, the easier it is to commit to memory. So this one, we have the function f of x is the square root of x plus 1, and our interval from a to b is from 3 to 15. So to plug into this formula, I would do f of 15 minus f of 3 all over 15 minus 3. So the first task is to figure out, well, what is f of 15? So that means we can grab our calculator or write out some side work to calculate this out. We need to figure out what is f of 15. That means going into this original function and replacing x with a 15. So we're going to do the square root of x plus 1 is really just going to be 15 plus 1, which means I'm going to do the square root of 16, which you might need a calculator for. You might not. Square root of 16 is 4. So there's our f of 15 is going to be 4, minus we need to figure out what f of 3 is. So I'm going to do some side work and grab my calculator or maybe do it in my head. We're plugging into that same original function, the square root of x plus 1. So the square root of our x value is 3 plus 1. Always good practice to put x in parentheses, but 3 plus 1 is just going to be 4 under that square root. So the square root of 4 is 2. So we have f of 15 is 4 minus f of 3 is 2. All over 15 minus 3 is 12. So 4 minus 2 is 2 over 12. There's our average rate of change. This does reduce if you want to reduce it. You can use math enter enter on a graphing calculator 2 over 12 math enter enter or on a scientific calculator 2 over 12 and then f arrow d would reduce it to be 1 6. Either answer is fine, but just showing you it does reduce. And normally, average rate of change, you would want to put two units on this. I would just write yourself a reminder. We weren't given units here, but this could be one-sixth mile per minute or something like that. So it would have two units on it if we were given them.